carnivore diet is exploding in popularity on social media. But before you start ditching your food and vegetables, let's talk about the science back dangers that uh, most influencers won't mention. The carnivore diet is pretty simple, really. You're supposed to eat only meats, eggs, maybe some dairy, no plants, zero carbohydrates. Proponents like the prominent pseudoscientist Jordan Peterson, for example, swear it's the ultimate human diet, but with zero long-term studies that back any of their claims up, let's break down the facts and put some meat on the bone. I always want to make that joke. It's very funny. All right, let's talk about the carnivore diet and what the carnivore proponents argue in a nutshell, right? So first of all, carnivore diet will lead to weight loss. A lot of people also say it will lead to mental clarity. They further argue that some cultures would eat only meat and that humans therefore are evolutionary carnivores, right? But enough of that, this is just a side note, this is not an evolutionary channel, this is about nutrition. So let's look at the scientifically backed health implications of a carnivore diet. Nutrient deficiency. Obviously, if you're cutting out most of your nutrients, you will be deficient in some, right? So let's go with the first one, vitamin C. Carnivore dieters very often show scurvy because they often rely only on muscle meat. Even if you do not rely only on muscle meat, you eat a lot of inner organs. Vitamin C uh, can deteriorate while cooking. It's really, really hard to get your daily vitamin C just being on a carnivore diet. Dietary fiber directly affects your microbiome and in your gut, in your gut health. And if you are on a zero fiber diet, which often a lot of carnivore diets are, microbiome collapse is linked to leaky gut symptoms and inflammation of your gut. And um, even if you eat fermented dairy, like some carnivore proponents say, that will not help because A, you don't provide a lot of dietary fiber. And secondly, you also lack polyphenols and other antioxidants that uh, provide, that plants provide, that also feed your microbiome. Magnesium deficiency, low carb diets often uh, have a suboptimal uh, supply of magnesium. Beef has a lot of magnesium, but you need to eat a lot of beef to get like your daily uh, average dose that you need. Muscle cramps and arrhythmias and other th things that you do not want to have. Folate deficiency. Uh, liver is uh, folate rich, but muscle meat is folate poor. So if you want to be on a carnivore diet, you need to eat a lot of liver. Liver has also a lot of problems that come with it, right? Like uh, high toxins are in liver as well. So... It's really difficult to make this all work on just this, uh, just eating meat, right? And participants had 30% higher oxidative stress markers in this particular study if they were on a zero plant diet. So that's on the nutrient deficiency side. Yeah, I also want to talk about cancer, right? Uh, processed meats are known to be a group one carcinogen. Red meats are known to be a group 2A carcinogen. So if you rely on a lot of on those meats in your carnivore diet, then your risk to develop colorectal cancer is a lot higher, right? Next one, heart disease, cholesterol. There's tons of studies out there that show that low carbohydrate diets uh, that are high in animal protein and fat. Nope, carnivore diet, right? 23% higher mortality risk in this particular study. We're talking mortality. Then lastly, weight loss. Yes, people lose weight on the carnivore diet. But remember, the main driver for weight loss is not eating meat. The main driver for weight loss is to be in a caloric deficit. The problem in today's world is not that we don't eat enough meat. The problem is that we're focusing on empty calorie foods. We favor empty calorie foods, those that are high in refined sugars, in saturated and trans fats that don't have a lot of nutrients over nutrient dense, low caloric foods. So in my new book, I will teach you how to lose weight, stay in a healthy body fat range and improve your diet step by step without going on ridiculous weight loss programs that are scientifically proven to harm your health. And a balanced diet that focuses on whole foods, on dietary fiber, on plants, and of course also on lean protein and on meats, that is a scientifically approved concept to improve your health. And if you like this video, or you want to learn more about the book, or you do both, subscribe to my channel right here, and I see you next time. I am out.